What a journey it has been this last year. We've had a ton of fantastic films to entertain us and some not so fantastic ones that disappointed us. But we're not gonna worry about those for now because it's time for my road to the 2023 Oscars. Now, obviously you all know what that is, so I don't think I need to get into specifics here. But if I did, I would tell you that this is where I review each film that is nominated for Best Picture. I will release one review each day leading up to my final predictions. Then after the awards, I will be posting up my reactions to the winners along with my final thoughts. This year's trend of Best Picture nominees seems to be a blend of fun and depressing. About half the films can be seen as crowd pleasers while the other are more downers, which I find to be very interesting. All Quiet on the Western Front showed us that for a second year in a row, a remake to a previous Best Picture winner can get the nomination itself. Avatar The Way of Water took us back to Pandora and showed the series still had plenty of life left at the box office. The Banshees of Inishirin gave us the funniest and darkest best friend breakup of the year. Elvis showed that the king of rock and roll is still alive and well in the hearts of many. Everything Everywhere All at Once felt like it was Everything Everywhere All at Once with its continued dominance of the award shows and positive word of mouth. We got a look at Steven Spielberg's childhood with The Fablemans. Kate Blanchett gave the performance of her career in Tar. Top Gun Maverick soared at the box office into our hearts and straight to the Oscars. Meanwhile, Triangle of Sadness showed us how satisfying it was to see the rich and famous get what they deserve. And lastly, Women Talking had us talking about the horrible situation these ladies find themselves in. There's a lot to go over still, so I hope you join me for the next few days while I take a deeper look at all these films. This is my road to the Oscars.